what's up guys and welcome to another meshing tutorial in this video we're gonna do two things the first thing is how to mesh a cylinder part with equally distributed mesh and the second uh, part is how to do radial mesh for a square plate so let's start with the first type of mesh so first we're gonna make a circle mesh but we make the geometry first we go to curve circle and create a circle by parameters my radius is gonna be 10 apply and then make a surface fill plane and click on the circle that, that we made just now apply then click on mesh go to auto measure and click on deviation select the mesh uh, select the surface that we did just now put the maximum element size as 1 and click mesh and accept then go to element generation we're gonna make solid now go to solid and then thickness is 10 and segment is 10 in the direction is z or negative z now we will have one uh, millimeter the distance in the z direction as well so there you have it and then you display this guy then you go to we're gonna convert convert this to sph like we did last time you go to here sph generation then you click on uh, solid nodes click on the solid that we did just now set the parameters create and accept and don't forget to set the density before you click on set parameters and create the sph this is very important before you create the sph otherwise you will have problems like i mentioned in my previous video about converting to sph and you hide the solid part and you just show the sph and now you have it i go here to setting post set uh, general setting and change the display of the sph into point and apply then you can see it's clearly equally distributed nodes for sph this is very important for sph because sph gives very good results if the mesh is equally distributed now we move to the second part of this video which is how to make a radial part uh, similar to this uh, example here first I want to remesh this one in a radial manner so I measure the dimensions 0 0.3 for the sides and 0 0.0056 for the thickness so I know the dimension now I go top view and then I want to create a, I want to create a rectangle so first I create the points 0 0.3 0 0.3 uh, it's supposed to be 0 0.15 and 0 0.15 but here my mesh is gonna be double the size but it's okay because later I'm going to scale them so you just put the coordinate and you make four vertices and then you connect them to make lines so line segment then click on the points or the vertices that you made just now so you will have four lines and then like here you make circles you need to make a few concentrates concentric circles here I put the diameter 0 0.28 and I make another circle radius 0 0.22 then radius 0 0.6 and then 0 0.1 in the last one circle with, ra with radius 0 0.4 then I, I go here make a surface click on the lines and click on the biggest circle then this is one surface then I click in this manner to make uh, several circles so first you click on the bigger then you you click on the next smaller circle and here the last circle you click and you make the surface now you go to mesh you mesh with the normal mesh no need the deviation type then you put the size here I put 0 0.003 and there you go you have the radial mesh if you look closely you can see that the radial mesh is not really perfect that is because I made more than one circle and I use the same element size to match them all 
so to avoid this problem you can either make only one circle or you can make uh, multiple circles but you m mesh each one of them individually with a different mesh size so the smaller circles should have a smaller size of mesh now again I'm going to make a solid out of this so I go to element generation solid I put the segment 4 and the thickness is the value that I measured before the uh, it will be in the negative Z direction I click on create and then you can see it here from the right view you have six elements in the thickness direction then you accept display the mesh and then put the isometric view and if you display all the parts you can see the new part is bigger in the x and y direction but it's okay because I'm going to scale them now which is from here element tools and transform and then scale then the scale factor is 2 I click on the solid part that I did just now then I need to translate up because it's uh, I, was, I was supposed to extrude it to up but I extrude it to the negative z direction so I'm going to uh, I'm going to fix that and, I, and I'm going to move it up and there you go now you have the old mesh and the new mesh and both of them in the radial direction so I, I delete my part I delete the old mesh and then I go to move copy I click on part number one and then I click on the new mesh and then except now the new mesh gonna be red gonna be part one so meaning the the section properties and the material properties are applied already to this new mesh now after doing this trick I need to go to keyword manager and delete part the new part that I did this is part number four and part number three this is the remnant the remnants of the mesh that I deleted before okay now you need to do that otherwise if you didn't do it you will have an error like uh, the one I'm displaying here in the screen and that's all for this short tutorial thank you very much for watching hope to see you next time and until then bye bye